Hello there and welcome to this iOS filmmaking tutorial. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview of the iMovie editing app. And today I'm running it on my iPad mini but it works just as well on the iPhone. So let's go ahead and open the app by clicking on the icon. So that brings up the project window and here we can either create a new project by clicking the little plus icon or we can edit an existing one by clicking on this icon here, which we'll do. And this brings us to the project home window. And we can either play the project as it is by clicking the little play icon in the very bottom of the screen. We can export it immediately by clicking the export icon or we can delete it. But in this instance, we want to edit it and we just click the edit icon just below the title. So here we are in the edit screen uh, and just a quick uh, run through of what things are. So at the bottom here where you can see the little clips and these are the clips uh, of your individual uh, sort of video clips. Uh, and the, the vertical line there is the playhead and that just indicates the actual frame of video that you're watching. We can play our project uh, in normal speed by hitting the little play icon at the top here and let's just do that so as you can see that's running but we can also scroll through the the project using our finger on the timeline so we can do that and it runs at the speed at which we scroll through the clips are fairly small at the moment and that's fine if we want to do things like moving them around but if we need a bit more detail we can zoom in on the timeline with two fingers so we just put two fingers on the timeline and just gently zoom them apart and as you can see the uh, the timeline has started to expand so we've got slightly more detail uh, on, on the timeline and we can scroll through the clips slightly slower and again when we want to return to the uh, to a smaller clip size we can just do the, the reverse movement and bring our two fingers together and that will zoom out of the timeline. Next to the play icon, we have a little backspace button. And when you press that, that will take us to the previous edit. So let's just go ahead and press that. So that takes us to the beginning of that clip. And if we press it again, it will take us to the end of the clip before it. And if we press it again, it takes it to the beginning of that clip. In the top right hand corner we have the uh, the gear icon and that's actually the settings for the entire project. So if we bring that up we have some looks that we can scroll through, we have some themes that we can use, we can have some theme music, we can fade in from black, we can fade out to black and then as the film changes speed we can have it so that the audio associated with that clip will, will change uh, pitch in time with the speed change. So let's come out of that. Next to that we have another little uh, plus icon and if we touch that this goes to our media browser window so if we want to add some more clips to our project this is where we will go in and locate those clips. Looking again at the timeline in the very right hand side you have a little sort of wavy sound icon and this when you press it it brings up the, the sound clip information uh, or the information of the sound associated with your clip. So you can see there's a, um, let's come up over here, let's zoom out and you can see exactly where sounds begin and end. In the left hand side we can have the useful if we want to uh, record a voiceover of a particular clip and next to that we have the camera icon uh, and when we press that we're basically using our iPad or our iPhone as a video camera and then that will record a video clip and we can insert that into the timeline. So that's iMovie in a very very small nutshell. If you have any questions please leave a comment. In the meantime though thank you for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.